Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to page 135 and 136. Make sure you go there in your book right now so you can see the theme that we're going to be talking about today. Okay, Fernanda, what is our theme for today? Equivalent fractions, exactly. Inside that word equivalent, what word do we almost see? We almost see equal, right? Iguales. So we're going to be talking about fractions que son iguales. Because just like when we have been reducing fractions, recuerden cuando estamos reduciendo. If we divide this fraction by 4 up here and divide by 4 up here, we get 1 over 2, right? And we know that this fraction 4 over 8 and this fraction 1 half are equivalent. They're just written in different ways, right? We've seen that before. Well, we're going to be doing the same thing today, finding fractions that are equivalent. We're just not going to be reducing. We're going to be using them for different things, okay? So just to remind you, what fractions are equivalent? How do we do that, et cetera, et cetera? Remember if I have this fraction right here and I color this top part, sum of what is this fraction? One half, right? Okay, but if I color these, one, two, what's my fraction, um, Scarlett? Two over four, excellent. Okay, and if I color these, what's my fraction, Kiana? Four over eight. Now raise your hand and tell me, Kiana está de acuerdo conmigo, that all of these fractions are actually equal. Look, I colored the same part here, here, and here in these circles. Raise your hand if you agree. I agree with myself. Anybody else? Okay, good, it's true. All these fractions are equal, okay? Because look, two times what number equals four, Jayla? Two times two equals four, okay? This number down here that I multiply my denominator by to get this number, if I can multiply the same number up here to get the numerator, son iguales. So if I go one times two, what does that equal? Two. And so it says one half and two fourths are equal. Let's try the same thing over here. Four times what number equals eight, Fernanda? Two. Okay, so four times two equals eight, so two times two equals what? Four. So that means two fourths and four eighths son iguales también. Okay, so look at number one. Number one's instructions are asking us, Keanu, read the instructions for number one for me. Okay, so we're gonna be writing an equal sign for those fractions that are equal, and a sign like that if they are not equal, okay? So we're gonna do most of these together. Look at letter A. Is three eighths equal to six over 16? I'm gonna show you how to know. Ready? Pay attention. Eight times what number equals 16, Keanu? Eight times two. Okay, so we have to check. Is three times two equal to six, Keanu? Yes, it is. So these are equivalent, ooh, equivalent fractions. Equal, okay? But look at letter B. Four sevenths and eight over 21. Hola. Four sevenths and eight over 21. Seven times what equals 21, Sama? Three, okay. Four times three, does that equal eight, Sama? No, so these fractions are not equivalent. So you put that sign, okay? So go ahead and try letter C. You decide, are the equivalent or not equivalent fractions? Then we'll check it together.
Okay, raise your hand if you got that they are equivalent. Who put an equal sign there? Raise your hand. Who put not equal? Raise your hand. Well, let's see. Okay, Kiana, four times what equals 12? Three. And three times three equals six, yes or no? No, so these are not equivalent. Okay, go ahead and try letter D by yourself and then we'll check it. Okay, raise your hand if you got equivalent. Raise your hand if you got not equivalent. Okay, let's check it. Five times what equals 10, Holly, Holly? Two. Is two times two equal to four, Holly? Yes, so these are equivalent. Okay? Go ahead and cross out number two. We're not going to do number two today. So look at number three. Now this is the very, very important part of your lesson. Okay, the very, very important part of your lesson I'm gonna teach you today. We're not gonna read the instructions because it's like a paragraph long and actually probably more confusing than if I just tell you like this. Look what we're gonna do. Sometimes they're gonna ask you to use a fraction here to find an equivalent fraction with a certain denominator. So they're gonna show you the denominator. They want it to be an equivalent fraction, that's why they have the equal sign there, okay? But they want you to find the numerator. So how are you going to do that? Okay, well I'm gonna show you. Exactly like we were doing just a second ago to check if they're equivalent or not equivalent. Three times what equals six? That's what you have to ask yourself. Three times what equals six? Keanu, tell me, three times what equals six? Two. So write that down, two. Now that exact same number that you multiply down here, you need to multiply up here to get your answer. So one times two equals what, Keanu? Two, and that is your answer. So one third equals two over six. Okay, let's try letter B. Now they want four fifths to have a denominator of 20. Four fifths to have a denominator of 20. What do I have to multiply this number by, Scarlett, to get 20? Four. So what do I multiply up here? Four, good. So four times four is what, Scarlett? 16. So there's your equivalent fraction. Four fifths equals 16 over 20. Go ahead and try letter C by yourself. Okay, Kiana, five times what equals 15? Three, good. So what do we multiply up here? Three, good. So what's your answer? Nine, okay? All you have to remember is whatever you multiply down here, you have to multiply up here as well. Okay, I'm gonna let you do letter D and letter E by yourselves, and I wanna check it when you send it to me so I know that you understand, okay? Look at, number, look at page 136. Page 136, you can cross out number five, A and B. We're not gonna do those today, okay? But we are gonna take some time to review some of these concepts on this page. So we have reduce. We need to reduce these, okay? So let's use our factors to reduce. What are my factors of four, Fernanda? One, four, and two. Good. What are my factors of eight, Sama? One, eight, two, four. Excellent. So what's my greatest common factor, Scarlett? Four, and that's what we're gonna divide by, right? Okay, and I'm gonna let you put the answer there so I can see that you really paid attention in the video. Okay, look at number seven. Letter A. Look at number seven, letter A. Five over four, look at the instructions. It says, 
change to a mixed number, reduce if necessary, okay? How do we change this to a mixed number? Who remembers? Let's see, Jayla, Jayla, do you remember? When the numerator, the, the number on top, is bigger than the denominator, the number on the bottom, you have to divide like this, right? Okay, so you get four into five, how many times? One, and my remainder as a fraction, one over four. Okay, I wanna see you do the rest by yourself. But letter C, you're going to have to reduce, okay? Okay, look at number eight, number eight. Almost there, Junior, almost there. Don't, don't lose patience with me. <laughs> okay, number eight. This is what we just learned. Okay, this is what we just learned, so I'm gonna teach it to you again. Five times what equals 20? Four, so you have to multiply what up here? Four, okay? Okay, now number nine is the only, the last thing I'm gonna help you with. You have to decide, are you gonna use grams or kilograms to measure the weight of these objects. Remember, grams are like the size of a little paper clip, a little gancho. Maybe this is a gram, let me see. Just one of these would be a gram, okay? And then a kilogram is like two pounds, so like the weight of your telephone. So thumbtacks, those are little things like this big. What do you think, gram or kilogram? B, a candy bar, chocolate, gram or kilogram? A dog, a person, computers, and a carta, a letter. Okay, check your answers. You should have one, two, three, three that are kilograms and three that are grams. Okay, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Make sure you look at number four. You should be checking your division, checking your division, okay? So I'm gonna send it back to you if you just did your division and didn't check it. If you check it and you're getting it wrong and you get frustrated, text me and I'll help you with them, okay? Thank you, have a great day, bye.